Hey, this is Dustin. I'm in the mountains today of North Alabama doing a quick overnighter. It's January the 15th and we were supposed to have gotten like four or five inches of snow, but mainly in this area, we're getting freezing rain and sleet. It's not gotten above 24 today. In fact, it's two o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's 23 degrees and I'm still getting bouts of sleet and freezing rain. Just to the north of us, maybe 15 miles, they've got like four inches of snow. But hey, I'm getting out tonight. This is gonna be a quick overnighter. I'm in a wilderness area and I'm gonna test out a new tent and also with my anvil horn sleeping bag, which is rated at 15 degrees, I'm gonna see how far I can push it. It's supposed to get down to 13 tonight. So we're gonna see how it works. So come on and go with me. This should be, this should be quite an adventure. Yes, that is slick indeed. So this mainly is gonna be a stealth camping type adventure. I'm in a wilderness area. Uh, for hiking and backpacking. There's really no set rules for camping up here, but there are several places where I found where people have camped up here in the past. And I know camping has been going on up here for years. So while it's not specifically designated for camping, people camp up here quite often. So this should be, should be interesting. I found, I think the perfect spot up on a ridge line. This is it, right here, if I can make it up through here. Scouted this area out. I think this is, this is where I wanna go, is up on this little plateau here, top of the ridge. Following an old road bed. No telling how many years ago. Up here, it's not much of it left. Starting to get some more sleep. That's slick. Maybe we'll get some snow. Maybe this will change over to snow. Right up here. I believe this is the place. Virtually no trees above me, no dead trees. I think I'm gonna be good even in an ice storm. And as you can see, it's sleeting again pretty hard, but it is, it is sleet, not freezing rain. So that's good. I gotta get set up because it's getting late. Boy, the sleet is really starting to come down now. Yeah, the top of my bag, it's frozen. I gotta get a tarp up. There's a tarp and there's a paracord. Let's get this thing set up and get some shelter going. So I got my tarp up, but it is continuing just to sleep like crazy. Uh, in the forecast, I think the precipitation was supposed to be pretty much over by now. But this seems to be the strongest precipitation we've had all day. But I'm gonna get my chair set up here. I'd planned on having a fire tonight, but that, that's not gonna happen. 
everything is coated with a layer of ice now. Uh, the trees are not bad. There's very thin layer of ice on them. And I'm in an area where there's no trees, large trees uh, right around me. And in the area where I was also going to put my tent, but I'm telling you, this is a, uh, this is pretty crazy. Definitely glad I brought my chair, but I got to get a moment where I can get my tent set up. It is starting to get dark. All right, I'm hungry. It's time to get something to eat. Well, let's open this stuff up and see what it tastes like. Mountain House Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. Mmm. You know you can't go wrong with Mountain House. It's, uh, it's been around for years. It uses good ingredients and it tastes, they all taste really good. Peak to Peak might be a little bit better than Mountain House, but you know, Mountain House is a good one. You can't go wrong with Mountain House. Well, it's 2024, January the 15th, and this is my first adventure this year. Hopefully we can have some great adventures. This is one of the first one, uh, you know, camping out in uh, freezing cold temperatures. It's supposed to get down to 13 tonight. So I'm gonna finish up on this meal and get in the tent and get settled down for the night. And I may show you my setup in there and then you know, I'm gonna get to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's coming down now, and it is really coming down. All right, so I'm in my tent, and uh, I like the tent. It's got plenty of shoulder room. It's got fairly good headroom. I'm on a three and a half inch sleeping pad, but it is a little short. I'm uh, probably six foot two, six to six two, somewhere around there. I used to be six two. And I think this tent is 84 inches, but when you get on the pad, you know, and it raises you up three, three to four inches, then it kind of narrows, you know, the, the both ends. But it's 16 outside and I'm headed to bed. It's late. I've been out watching it snow and taking video for a while. So see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. It's about 6.30 outside. It's a balmy 13 degrees. And I'm gonna get up and get moving and get me some hot coffee. You can see the condensation on the fly this morning. Well, we hit a new low. My outside thermometer says 12 degrees. And I believe it, it's cold out here. Looks like we picked up about another inch, maybe a little bit over an inch last night of sleet and fine snow.
Ah, that's good. It's about 7.30, 7.45 out here. It's still a balmy 12 degrees. I'm gonna drink this coffee and get out of here. Camping in an ice storm at 12 degrees Fahrenheit was a first for me. But I found in my life that most real growth takes place when I'm willing to push myself outside of my comfort zone. Hey guys, thanks for coming with me on my adventure. I hope it inspires you to get out and have your own.